Welcome back Poké fans to the Pokemon Opelo playthrough. In the last episode we arrived at Orvalo Town, we met our mother finally, turns out she's in a mental hospital, she's been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia and she drew a picture of the Pokemon which we also saw in that astral dream it turns out it's called now. But yeah, apparently it speaks to her when she's asleep, but they've said that she's basically nuts. But we have been having the same thing, so there's clearly something going on here. We also caught a new Pokemon, um, a regional Teddy Ursa. It's now evolved into an Ursary. And just look how cool this Pokemon is. Like, definitely one of the better ones we've caught so far. So today we're just going to explore the rest of Orvalo town and then we have a gym that we can take on here as well there's also some little errands we could do so we could go and get some of the gatling grunts and stuff like that but i think for now we're just going to explore the town so there's a nursery on route 9 following this road if you're carrying a pokemon that can't yet stand on its own why not leave it there this way it will grow up safe and sound i remember when i visited Orvalo cave as a child a strange pokemon attacked me that's when i lost my lucky charm i wish someone would find it and give it back to me Strange ruins on Route 6 belonged to the ancient Orvalo town. It was washed away during a river flood and we had to move to this part of the basin. Here at the top of the hills we were out of danger, although being close to the swamp there are days when it smells like oh, yeah. I think we actually spoke to them um, earlier. Have you visited the ruins of ancient Orvalo village? It's a pretty dangerous place but enigmatic. Although lately it's been filled with ghost type Pokemon. Could it be nature's way of telling us to stay away? The health centre, da da da. Thanks to its facilities, we've gone from being a simple fishing village to a leading city in science and research. Leader Romero uses Sapphire Obama Snow. Okay, so Obama Snow's got a regional form. It's a strange variety of Obama Snow that has adapted to the climate of the swamp. Its type is grass water, that's good to know. Curious combination, isn't it? The water type nullifies the grass type's weakness to fire, and the grass type nullifies the water type's weakness to plant. What a mess. To be fair, grass water is not a bad typing. This, uh, this city is known for two things, the gold that hides the bed of our river and the health centre. Thanks to the former we have been able to finance the latter. We haven't found none of this gold yet though. President Mustang won the election after promising an increase in security and defence spending. It was a time of fear and uncertainty. The discourse was very well received. Um, we don't need to check if our Pokemon are happy because we haven't got anything that's needing happiness. Like Tafla BB, it's a Pokemon that's become fashionable at school for a cutie fly. So we still yet haven't had a trade for any new Pokemon. Don't know if there's actually going to be any in the game. Are you chasing Team Gatlin? Are you interested in some information about them? I'll tip you off for 2,000 Poker Dollars. Yeah, sure. Well, I understand that one of the ringleaders was recently in Astral City, but they started chasing her and she snuck on the first train she snore. Apparently, in her hay, she left her suitcase with some personal belongings somewhere in the train station. We have literally already done that, so what a waste of 2,000 Poker Dollars that was. Do you feel like talking about the weather, kid? Let's talk about the rain. Rain can be made moves like rain dance. It is a climate that boosts water type damage and reduces fire type damage. Also, if it's raining, the thunder and hurricane moves will never fail. Thank you for listening on this. Give us rain dance. I didn't know that hurricane doesn't miss. I know. Um, what's it called? I know thunder. Can't miss in the rain, but I'm sure I've seen hurricane miss. Oh my god, this person's just got loads of skis. Oh, we've got rare candy out the bin as well. Did we check the one down here? Yeah, we did. Okay, on to the next. Can we go this way? Some Pokemon have escaped from the Safari Zone. It's too dangerous to continue here. Um, did we talk to you? I can't actually remember where we have and haven't been. So that's Route 7, but looks like there's a swarm of Bidoof in the way. Route 9, definitely don't want to go there yet. And I think we've already spoken to all these. Yeah, so 
Looks like we're going to take on the gym leader. What level are we? Uh, we'll lead with Hitmonchan, I think. I wonder if Farfetch'd has an evolution in this. I don't suppose there's any way to check in unless we check the Pokedex. So, Farfetch'd. Oh, it looks like it's just in Kanto form. Okay then, so let's see what this gym's all about. Hey Challenger, as you can see at a glance, this gym specializes in the water type. It's also hard. You should bring a grass type Pokemon with you to ensure victory. Turns out we've got two grass Pokemon, so we shouldn't be too bad here. And um, I think we will just lead off with this guy, but probably let you get some XP though, because you're getting a little bit under leveled. So how do we get around? There's jellyfish. And then we got trainer bell. So Fisherman David and you have a spiel. You guarantee that this thing's gonna have an ice ball. Yeah, ice ball. Doesn't do much though. And another Sophia. Ooh, nearly KO that one in one hit. I'm still learning with energy ball. Yeah, we might as well get rid of pound. And then gold duck up next. Ooh, the tank went quite well. Don't get another flinch. What is with the flinches in this game? You know, I'm not even going to bother wasting it, I'll go Tangela. And then of course it changes into Warhorse. Oh man, how annoying is that? Um, let's go also. Go for a faint attack. Oh, Golduck Psychic type as well then? I didn't know that. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run back in here and then we'll carry on. Okay, so we're back. Um, where does this one take us? Is that a switch? So that's done something. Go this way. What's up? Okay, maybe we'll go down first. That's another switch. I like how when it's on speed up, you literally just fly across before the jellyfish. Hey, you show me if you have what it takes to tackle this gym. It's a fisherman, fisherwoman adder. It's got an aracuda. I'm sure these are quite frail, but yeah, although we did pretty as well. And then a Barrascuda. Go for an energy ball. One in KO. Okay, so we're flying through this. We can't get there because there's some grass in the way. Um, maybe we need to go this way then. If you want to get ahead in this gym, you're going to have to get your butt wet. Fishwoman Christina, you have a chincha. Wood energy ball. That also one hit KOs. Ooh, crunch. I think we'll just get rid of Fury Swipes. And then a bib roll. I'm gonna try and give Tang Lesson some time. Put it to sleep. Need alarm. Stay asleep one more turn. There you go.
and then we can continue on around here. Ah, oh, it done us there. There's a piece of grass in the way, so we can't can't get to it. Oh, Gavados. Fortunately, we got shockwave, so bye bye, Gavados. And then we go back this way, go this way. There's the switch. So now I'm assuming we'll be able to go up from here. No, still not. Have I missed something? There's not anything there. We've definitely missed something. I've already pressed that. Ah, oh, I think I know what it is. That where that original piece of grass was when we bought that Gyarados. Yeah, there we go. So that should now move that other piece of grass, I think. And then we can go up from here now. Yeah, there we go. Will this take us to the gym leader, possibly? Well, we got train about first. Fisherman, iron. The basculine. Energy ball. Need to heal some HP back to be fair, so I need to start going for Mega Drain. Then we'll just shock wave. What's the land sky off a cut? Definitely get rid of helping hand. Right, so where does this one take us? Okay, then if we can go up, where does this go? There's actually an item in here. We've got TM for water pulse. I don't think I've ever seen that before in the gym. I'm glad I went to the left there. And then let's see what this gym leader's all about. Well, 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 you've made it this far and everything. Well, nothing. I'm going to pull the line and see what I catch, whether it's a worthy opponent or a trifle. By the way, it looks like you're gaining some fame. Oh yeah, look, it's like rammed. Come on, Pokex, you can do it. I bet all my savings on you at Poke Fair. Enjoy the fame while you can. I come from Johto, you know. Life there is very quiet. I'm not a big fan of shows or fuss, but don't think that makes me an easy trainer to beat. My Pokemon and I have grown stronger through calm and serenity. I'm going to teach you my combat techniques honed through fishing. Okay, and so Leader Romero sends out a Swanner. We can just shock wave. Bye bye, Swanner. Oh, this is. So, what are you? Your water grass. Um, Barfetch might be good here. Oh my god, it literally looks like a swamp monster. That is so good. Set the rain. We need to connect this. Yes, I think we got rid of it. I don't know why it poisoned itself though. It must have an ability that something like guts or something. Leader Mero is about to send out Dreadnought. Go back to Descarga. Uh, Mega Drain. That defense drops a little bit annoying. Oh, he's got berry. I was going to say, surely that KO's. It's like four times super effective. Ooh, Araquinid. So, Araquinid is water bug. So, what should we do? Um, you know, we'll go hit Munchan. 
get off, fake out, and then rock smash should hope you yeah, get the defense drop. Oh, but you set up a reflect, how annoying are you? Liquidation does a lot of damage. Right, can we get. Oh, you. What is it with hyper potions? Then you set up the rain. That was a crit. Okay, so we just need something that could potentially outspeed. Maybe Persian. There you go. And that's that gym leader all dealt with. Persian wants to learn Ice Fang. Yeah, we'll get rid of Fang in a sec. Wow, I lost. Yes, but it's been a long time since I've seen something so amazing. Poker hacks, poker hacks, poker hacks. Everyone loves us. You're great, you know that. You're the future of Pokemon competition, and my badge will be a good proof for that. Keep up the good work, your skills are good, but you still have some things to polish. You've reached the halfway point in your Safari Gym Challenge. It's a pity that right now the Pokemon League is closed. You'd be a strong contender. We open the Pokemon League. That's right, we want Pokemon League this year. Wow, you don't see this every day. The politicians should listen to the citizens more. Well, I think I'm going to go back to my fishing. You just keep getting stronger. Huh? You want a TM? Well, I don't have one right now. A capsule IV? What are these? Right, so... Don't get a TM, but thankfully we got that water pulse. Wow, we just found out that there's a heavy bibberol that won't let people go on Route 7. I'll see if I can scare him off so you can continue your adventure. So I think that means we've got to go Route 7. But I think first we're going to do some um, Team Gatling grunts. But before that I'm going to quickly run back and heal. Okay, so we're back and we are at Pony Enti Town. I think this is the only Gatling grunt we can do at the moment and I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, just down here. Huh, what are you doing here? Leave me alone. Come looking for, for a fight. You messed with the wrong person. So let's see what he's got. So it's Gatling grunt Sonya and she leads off with a lair on. Um, we'll go out into Hitmonchan. So judging by the levels, we probably should have done this earlier. Sky Uppercut, one hit KOs. We don't want to learn agility. And a Skun Tank. And that's a little bit of a problem. And we'll go far-fetched. Shouldn't really be able to hit us for anything. And then we'll aerial ace. Yeah, second one of them should do. And down goes the skunk tank. Okay, okay, you win. I'll give myself up to the law, but don't hurt me anymore with those strong Pokemon. I think we'll take advantage of my stay in prison to take a sewing course. So we've got to head back to Astral City. But now we've got the Poke Rider, we can get around a lot easier. Where actually is Astral City? Is it this one? So, head to the police station here. I'm assuming we just talked to you. Gatlin recruits Sonya has turned herself in. Great job. This is your reward. So, we've got a rare candy, 10,000 poker dollars. And Douglas, I think that's the one that we got in that like lair looking place. Is also turned himself in. Got a King's Rock and another 10,000 poker dollars. So, yeah, we've done these two, and all we've got left is Butch Cassidy in Poison Swamp, and this one in the Real Mountains. I don't know if you get more once you've done them, I'm not 100% sure. So, Poison Swamp, it's got to be somewhere around. Or below town, seen as 
the um, what's it called? Uh, here we go, poison swamp. So it's like Route Nine. So we're not too far off, and then Burial Mountains. I haven't actually looked at the map yet. Uh, yeah, we're, we're miles away from there. So we'll head back to Orvalo Town, and then we're going to end the episode there because next episode we're going to look at continuing up Route Seven and arriving at Alicio Town. I think it's called. Got some places along the way as well, Native Cemetery and Orville OK, so we might check them out as well. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.